dear student today in this lecture we are going to discuss the very important hormone secreted by the pituitary gland this hormone is actually fsh follicular stimulating hormone in this lecture we will discuss in detail that what is the source of secretion of follicular stimulating hormone what is the actions or function of fsh in male and what is the action of fsh in female and we will also discuss the dysfunction of this hormone the hypersecretion and hyposecretion of this hormone so let's start about actually what is follicular follicular stimulating your follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone is abbreviated as fsh actually what is this hormone actually this hormone is gonadotropin the word gonadotropin is derived from gonads means sex organ testis in the male and ovary in the female this hormone acts on the testis in the male and ovary in the female so this hormone is known as gonadotropin now actually when it stimulates the testes or stimulate the follicle cells in the ovary what it do we will discuss in this lecture this hormone is actually a glycoprotein polypeptide hormone you should note it follicle stimulating hormone is actually the hormone that is protein in nature now the question arises that where this hormone is synthesized which gland in the body it secretes so if sh is synthesized and secreted by the gonadotropic cell of the anterior pituitary gland we have discussed in the pre previous lecture that pituitary gland is a master gland of the body and actually this hormone is released by the anterior pituitary gland the pituitary gland has two parts we have discussed anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary the anterior pituitary gland produce the tropic hormone actually follicle stimulating hormone is the example of tropic hormone tropic hormone hormones are those hormone that acts on the other gland and stimulate them so it is the tropic hormone gonadotropic hormone now what does the main function of follicle stimulating hormone the main function of follicle stimulating hormone is to regulate the development growth pubertal maturation and reproductive process of the body both in the male and the female it regulate the puberty in the male as well as in the female how <coughs> now another hormone along with fsh that is luteinizing hormone they work together and it develop the immune the human reproductive system how it develop let's discuss actually in the mean it act on the sertoli cells and sertoli cell are located within the cerebral tubule of the testis now we are discussing what are sertoli cells look at this diagram suppose this is a testicle and this testicle is having many libules and in these libules there are uh, and uh, in this libule there are uh, actually the special type of tubules and these tubules are called seminiferous tubules these are sim if we enlarge the size of the seminiferous tubule this seminiferous tubule is having specialized cells cells these cells are called sertoli cells now these sertoli cells are responsible for protecting and nutrition the sperm precursor cells spermatogonia actually these seminiferous tubules have specialized cell they are called spermatogonia or primary spermatocytes they support these cells 
एंड दे सपोर्ट दस प्रोसेस ऑफ स्पर्मा टू जीनेसिस इन जनरल बूथ फोलिकल स्टिमुलेट फोलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन एंड दिस्टिस्टरॉन हार्मोन आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्टिमुलेशन स्पम प्रोडक्शन इन द टिस्टिस so what is do with the hypothalamus actually activate it to take the the pituitary gland and the interior pituitary this interior pituitary gland produce follicles pollen stimulating hormone this follicle stimulating hormone come to the testes they act on the sertoli cell they actually the sertoli cell are actually they protecting the sperm and they nutrition the sperm so in this way the sertoli cell when the sperm are produced the sperms come and they are mature by the uh, sertoli cell so these hormone actually form the sertoli cell activation performing the sertoli cell activation now when there is spermatogenesis occur when the spermatogenesis occur what happen on the other hand uh, in the ovary as as in the ovary this sperm production also reverse regulation mean that as well as in the testes in the ovary the negative feedback regulation mean that uh, they are negative regulated by another hormone known as inhibin what inhibin do when the inhibin uh, lose the testes and signal the pituitary gland the the testes release in heaven and it leaves the uh, testes and they goes to the pituitary gland and block the release of fsh when there is increase in the inhibin the further formation of the fsh will be inhibited so inhibin is the negative regulator of the uh, <coughs> inhibin is the regulator of the fsh so fsh actually it uh, for spermatogenesis and when there is spermatogenesis occur inhibin actually block the release of fsh and there is no spermatogenesis occur. so the main function of the follicle stimulating hormone is the it act on the sertoli cell within the sinus vestibule of the testes and these cell are responsible for protecting and nourishing the sperm precursor cell spermatogonia and so it help in the spermatogen normal value now question arises what is the normal value of this hormone the most important test to assess the male fertility is the semen analysis main protocol for semen analysis now your fsh analysis in mean can also provide information if there is any alteration in the seminal parameters the normal reference value of fsh in men is about 1 to 12 ml u for ml if fsh is level is outside this range it is likely that the male has impaired testicular function due to one of these reason low fsh due to taking anti depression or anti hypertension now that you should do fsh can be divided according to the origin of this hormone <coughs> next we will look at the two ways of obtaining fsh that exist we have urinary fsh the this hormone we preferred are the hormone come from the purification of urine from menopausal women Yes, this is because the level of fsh after menopause is very high menopause actually after the blockage of menses is called menopause and therefore it is a traditional way to obtain large amount of this hormone one type of fsh of urinary origin is hmg human menopausal gonadotropin human we give if there is low fsh level in a person we provide hmg human menopausal gonadotropin which contain 75 iu of fsh and 75 iu of lh and another uh, um, uh, treatment for this is recombinant uh, fsh we made genetically recombinant fsh to provide the 
uh, if it's level in the body now we talk about the function of this hormone in the female although FHH is found in both sexes its name is actually derived from follicle stimulating it comes from the function it perform in the female to stimulate the ovarian follicle to mature egg inside them it means that the female ovary contains special type of cell called follicular cells actually FSH actually it stimulate the follicular cell and mature the follicular cells so the name of this hormone come actually from the follicle stimulating but this hormone is present both in male and in female it has play important role in the sperm formation and is really is play important role in the egg formation in maturation its secretion by the pituitary gland began when it began when girl reach to puberty in a consequence the ovary mature and begin their function secondary sexual characteristic appear in the first menstruation arrives it mean that it help uh, in the menstruation mean that it help in the ovary it help the ovaries to mature their cells measurement of fsh hormone in the blood during a woman reproductive life is an indicator of the state of ovarian reserve for this reason it is included in the female fertility test now fsh equally uh, involved in all the regulation of menstrual cycle and therefore it is very important that its level are not altered why so that the woman does not suffer irregularities you should note now in which uh, in which uh, period the fsh liver uh, fsh uh, rises and falls fsh began to be secreted from the brain and acts on the ovaries in response to this fsh fsh surge it increase what they do the primordial follicles containing immature oocyte begin to grow and migrate to the surface of the ovary it mean that when the the beginning of the cycle fsh increases uh, they they release from the brain and response this fsh they they the primordial follicle cells contain immature oocytes and the, uh, they actually grow the immature oocytes and migrate to the surface now this fsh level mean that only one of the growing uh, increased level fsh mean that only one of the growing follicle is able to survive the dominant follicle are they is called the grafts follicle the rest will be blocked and will be lost the fsh level then rises again during the late phase of the cycle but will remain at base level during the luteal phase until menstruation return and it with it in a new menstrual cycle this developing follicular cohort initiate the synthesis and secretion of hormone called estradiol which has a reverse regulatory function it acts on the pituitary gland and block the fsh uh, estradiol is the negative regulator of the look at this figure fsh come the fsh stimulate the follicular cell and the follicular cells now mature and there is the formation of oocytes and mature in the egg formation start but when there is menstruation what estradiol do estradiol come and they block the release of F fsh so their reproductive cycle is unregulated menstrual cycle will not occur. normal value of fsh on women on the third of the menstrual cycle is between 3 to 9 miu for ml low fsh underweight uh, low fsh mean uh, underweight or anorexia high fsh mean there is menopause or um, pituitary tumors it mean that when you have uh, uh, high amount of fsh there will be menopause there will be no menstruation next type